Hey there, thanks for watching my video. Have you ever been playing The Sims and filming your cute little cinematic and then as soon as you go to pan out, you see this annoying plumb bob? Well, I'm here to tell you how to get rid of it. This is an in-game cheat, so no mod required. It also gets rid of the thought bubbles, which could be good for you if The Sims are just not talking about what you want them to talk about. For example, what does robots have to do with the conversation about the beach? And lastly, it gets rid of those relationship icons that tell you whether their relationship is going up or down. Afterwards, I'm gonna show you a mod that you can download in addition to doing this, which would get rid of like the Z's that come up when you sleep, the little annoying light bulbs when you're building skills with the little plus signs and more. So stay tuned for that. So to start, the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is control alt C and you're gonna put testing cheats true. This is not new, I'm pretty sure we all know this. Now the actual in-game cheat that we're gonna be using is called headline effects off. Now you can see immediately the plumb bob is gone and also those little conversation thought bubbles and in addition, anytime that they build their relationship between the two of them, you won't see those green friendship, green hearts or red rivalries and red hearts for the decrease. I really like this cheat for when I'm filming Mishinimas or cinematic type things, but typically during regular gameplay, I don't use it. However, I still hate those Zs and those really annoying light bulbs that come over your Sims head when they're building skills. So let me show you the mod for that. So this is the website where you're gonna download the mod. Now I will link it in the description below. So if you are interested, definitely check it out. This particular creator actually does a few animation replacements, which I highly recommend. I've been using them in my game for a while and I just love them. So you can download them all here. Now, as far as the overhead effects, it actually lists everything right here. So you can see that it gets rid of the group icons. It also gets rid of the shopping cart. So if you have a store, it gets rid of simoleons, those really annoying light bulbs, the plus signs, everything. So it's personally my favorite. There is also another one which is called the no effects mod. Now this one actually does get rid of every single effect in the game, including things that are not overhead. So for example, the smoke clouds when you're woohooing, if you're playing any musical instruments, the weird shapes and signs that come out when you're fighting. Now personally, I do like some of these things, so I don't always use this particular mod. The only one that I really feel I miss is when they're woohooing. I like to see the smoke heart. I think it's cute. But other than that, I honestly don't care for any of these things. So you can also download this if you want to get rid of those animations as well, especially if you're looking for more realistic gameplay or Mishinima and take away kind of the cartoony aspect of it. This mod could be really helpful. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here and you're simply going to install the mod by clicking on the ones that you want. So we're going to download the no effects and the no overhead effects mod as well. So once you've done that, the package files will appear in your downloads folder. You're simply going to highlight, select, cut, and we're gonna move these to the mods folder. So you can find that by going to your documents, electronic arts, Sims 4, mods, and then once you're here, paste those two mods and you are in business. So with both mods and the cheat enabled, you can see Douglas is here cooking and there's absolutely nothing overhead. In addition, Kimona is here sleeping and there's no annoying Zs. So if you're like me and you wanna get rid of those, this is the mod and cheat for you. If you found this video helpful, let me know by giving it a like. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I post lots of Sims content and I will be uploading a ton of videos over the next few months. So until next time, bye for now.